as far as Morgan Park goes, the story of this game and kind of the storyline of the season so far has been Wayne Blackshear. I followed the Mount Irving Fire around most of the summer and watched him play AAU. And it was obvious that Wayne was improving and that he was a really good five-star type player. Though it was hard to figure out exactly how good he was when there was that many great players on the team around him. You know, they had like eight or nine Division One guys, high major guys on one team. Watching this game opened up my eyes to see how good Wayne Blackshear really can be. He had 42 points, 18 rebounds, I think like five blocks and five dunks or something like that. Um, and he was just really outstanding. I saw Jeremy Richmond play against... Deerfield the night before, and I've always been a big supporter of Jeremy's game. I think he's awesome. I think he's underrated nationally. Um, so this isn't to you know put Jeremy down or anything, but I think Wayne might be coming close to being on the, that same level as Jeremy as far as being the top player in the state and being a player of the year candidate. Wayne, anybody who knows Wayne well knows he's a notorious gym rat. He's always in the gym, always working on his game. And Nick Irvin, when he would talk to the Mac Irvin Fire this summer and some of his pep talks, you know, before and after games, he would always reference Wayne and say, you know, you guys want to be great. You want to be everything they say you are. Why not be in the gym like Wayne? Why not be a gym rat? Now I'm starting to see all those hours in the work pay off. He has a noticeably stronger body. Um, he's had a little baby fat in past years, but he looks slim and well built and looks ready to, uh, you know, dunk on somebody. Uh, his outside shot is improving. His mid-range game is just perfect. I rarely see him miss a mid-range shot. He actually got the second play of the game against uh, East Aurora and Ann won mid-range jumper, which was awesome. Um, he's a student of the game. He loves learning. He loves watching ball, and you can see it in, in when he plays. He's a very smart player, very crafty player. He's not the kind of guy that'll just attack the basket and tumble in. He calculates his move. He knows what he's going to do. He does it. He'll score. He gets to the line. He's awesome. Um, I talked to him after the game and, and told him that his mid-range game reminds me a little bit like Paul Pierce. And he said, yeah, well, right now I'm like Paul Pierce, but I want to be like Carmelo. I want to stretch it out to the perimeter, get that face-up move, get that fadeaway on the baseline, and, and I could totally see him becoming that type of player. The other player that stood out for me on Morgan Park was freshman point guard Marquis Williams. He was highly touted coming into high school, just like a lot of other kids in that awesome 2013 class in Illinois. But... Whenever a freshman is starting at point guard on a top-ranked team, you're going to think he, he needs an adjustment period, not this kid. He came in confident, knocking down threes, driving and dishing. I'm, I was really, really impressed with him, and I'm looking forward to see uh, what's in store with us from Marky Williams in the next four years.